Hello everybody and welcome to Game Dev Tycoon. I've been waiting to play this game for so long and I, uh... <sighs> Give me a second guys, I have to take this. Hello? Yeah, now's not a good time. I'm kind of in the middle of something here. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, fine. I'll play them. What are they? Uh, you're kidding me, right? Okay, okay never mind, never mind. Uh, who made them? Ah, oh, damn it. Welcome to How Bad Can It Be, the series which I can't escape from even if I want to. It's also the series where we look at terrible games so you don't have to. Today we're doing something special. Four games for the price of one. That's both figuratively and literally. That's right folks, today we're looking at the Insinosoft Jigsaw Puzzle Bundle. Insinosoft, of course, being responsible for the magic that is Ludo Supremo, which actually did rather well for itself. The puzzle contains the following games. Puzzles at Mystery Manor, Puzzles Under the Hill, Puppy Dog Jigsaw Puzzles, and Kitty Cat Jigsaw Puzzles. Now, I will be referring to these games in two categories throughout this video. The Narrative Pack, consisting of Mystery Manor and Under the Hill, and the Normal Pack, consisting of Puppy Dog and Kitty Cat. Why split them into two? Well, let's get into it and find out. I'm just gonna say it here. The normal pack have no story whatsoever, not even a hint. It's just a puzzle game you could get on your mobile phone, you know? Something just to play in the toilet to kill a few minutes. The narrative pack, on the other hand, both have little hints of narrative which takes you from puzzle to puzzle. And I mean the term hints literally, by the way with both games providing next to nothing. I definitely need something to talk about though, so I'll be looking at the two games' different approach. Mystery Manor starts off by giving you a note. Now, I didn't pay much attention to the stories in either of these games, I genuinely felt my brain melt while playing them, so all I can really say is you find a story, or a narrative of some sort, while going from puzzle to puzzle. You're able to read notes and books as you slowly make your way through. Puzzles Under the Hill, on the other hand, has you follow the adventures of Pamela Possum. Hey Pamela, I think I met your best friend, Ruby Roadkill. So she speaks, or sorry, sings, and then you just follow her around as she goes to find her best friend? Whoa, what's wrong there Pamela? Forgot your way to your friend's house? Jeez, some friend you are, Pam. Okay, so I need to move on before I actually feel my brain cease the function, okay. Ne next segment, next segment. Once again, we have a running theme here with both games in the normal pack being exactly the same. Both of the games are actually pretty terrible looking. The puzzles themselves are fine, I guess, just stock images breaking up into weird shapes for you to mindlessly put together. Everything around these puzzles though is just poor quality. The fonts used in both games aren't great. Just basic looking, no effects or nothing, just random fonts put there and given the colour to somewhat match the colour of the terrible clip arts they use for menu icons. These games both have no music, by the way. Like, literally nothing. Like, I know how some people mute the music sometimes so they can listen to Spotify or whatever, but not even having the option is unforgivable. I gave Luda Supremo a pass for having sound effects, but this game doesn't even have that. Not even a click when you put the pieces in. The narrative pack, on the other hand, has differences between them again, which is great to see. I'll start with the arguable worst of the two, Puzzles Under the Hill. The puzzles look fine again, just being art broken up instead of stock photos. It's the outside segments though, you know, between the puzzles. They look dreadful. If I had to put it into words, it's Bad Rat's levels of poor graphics. It's just horrible to look at. Music, well it has it. It's just basic ambience with a guitar strumming away. Nothing to write home about. They also have a gem collecting sound effect for when you enter each puzzles, but that's about it, honestly. Nothing special. Uh, Mystery Manor is arguably the best out of the four games though. You already know that the puzzles look fine because they all do, but it's the game surrounding the puzzles which actually impressed me. It seems a shame that someone at Incinosoft put effort into a layout that would play second fiddle to a fucking jigsaw. Seriously, if this guy made a horror game and used this manor as the layout or something, I'd actually be interested. It's like an indie Resident Evil, I was genuinely impressed. The music in this game is pretty good too, once again it's just ambience, but it generally gives off the creepy feeling of this manor instead of just making me want to sleep. What do you expect me to say? 
what can I actually say? It's a jigsaw puzzle game. Jigsaws, you know, the damn board game made for young children who attend church or Sunday school, or old people over the age of 75. Yeah, they decided to turn it into video games. It's pointless. You just drag pieces into place as quickly as possible, that's it. There's nothing to it. It's not even the kind of game where I can break down stuff and go into detail properly. The normal pack have a timer attached to a star system to encourage the player to replay it, backing up my mobile game theory, and the narrative ones don't have this and just offers a more standard experience. These four games follow the trend that Luda Supremo sets in motion. What they do, they do well. It's a puzzle game, you can't mess that up. It's a game where you put puzzles together. Luda Supremo was a game where you played Ludo. They all deliver exactly what they promise on the box. Nothing more, nothing less. That's the problem though. By throwing nothing new into the mix, it eliminates any reason for its existence. What is the point in buying the game where you can do the exact same thing in the real world with nothing different or new to change the expectations? In the games you put pictures together and in the real world you put pictures together. I guess that leaves me with one question though. How bad can it be? The Encinasoft Puzzle Bundle is not bad, but it sure as hell is not good. That's all I got time for today. If you enjoyed this video, please consider giving it a like. If you want to keep up to date with all future reviews, give us a subscribe and hit that little bell to receive notifications as soon as a video is uploaded. If you have played this game, please share your thoughts down below. I'd love to hear them. I've been Vivid Shim, and I shall see you all soon.